All right, guys, I got a good one for you here. Um, I very crudely roughed in four rocks that would span from each one of these piers down here. So pier to pier, pier to pier, pier to pier, and pier to pier. And they almost have like a stair-stepping quality down to here. And my scan isn't that great on that last pier. And I found this photo, which is pretty high res and really gives good detail from this pier to the edge. It looks like there was another area to be able to hold a rock and then the water could flow into this hole. So there would have been water coming down here, maybe. So that this is perhaps not a fireplace, but a place where water is coming in, which would make this a bathhouse. I guess. Not just any sort of bathhouse. I think this is a heated bathhouse because if you put this as a fire pit and you start a fire down here and you put the rock wall on top, that's essentially a Roman bathhouse. And talk about not being able to see the forest for the trees. <laughs> it was, I was looking for springs all the way up at the top of the mountain here. And there might be, there might be more springs still yet to be uncovered, but I think we're looking at one right there. Now, springs can dry up. Uh, there was one in Texas just recently. Let me pull up the picture. Now this is a picture of Jacob's well. And it's not really a well, it was a spring. But this was it in its glory. And then this was it after it started to dry up. And look at the pitting around the well there, or around Jacob's well. And then look at the pitting that we see right there. You could almost get away with that being the same picture. So I think we're looking at uh, ancient dried up spring. And so that's why they could count on the water constantly flowing until it didn't. And I think there's thoughts that they buried this structure and it went out of commission at some point. I don't know guys, tell me what you think. And I think I gotta give up this idea of uh, this part here. Oh, might have deleted one too many, but uh, let me let me show you some pictures here. Look at that. Thinking about Native American structures, pit houses. I'm thinking that there was something similar going along 
the edge here. And if this was a mud topped pit house, that might be a lot of weight, which would make sense then of why you need pretty significant stone columns. So that's a thought. I don't know guys, let me know what you think. Is this a bathhouse?